Okay, we are just about ready to go. Mm-hmm. <coughs> All right. Are you ready to fucking do this thing? Let's do it. Let's fucking do this Let's thing. Let's fucking do this shit. Let's do it hard. Hard and long. Woo! Hey, boys and girls. The TCS Network brings to you the Charity Strike. And now, here are the boys that put the big D back into douchebag. Midlife Crisis. And rebound. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 I'll show you my big D. Oh, yeah. And then play with your D. Spe- no, wait. Huh? wait. That's gross. Welcome to the Charity Strike, everybody. By right time we're done, it'll be the Charity Stroke. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That never gets old. Never. I love it. Yeah, it's right. Uh, I am Greg Rebound Jones, sitting over there laughing at my jokes. That's Midlife Crisis. What's up, bitches? And I, got, I guess now is a proper time to properly back away from the mic. And introduce you to Monday, Mikeless <laughs> Ra. Uh, uh, I get the uh, the uh, uh, yeah. yeah, the old, the old bad Triple H thing. Yeah, you won't be Thank hearing you. Any- uh, no bad Triple H's tonight. <laughs> Only good Triple H's. Uh. Yes, uh, it's right. Uh, we are Mike Free, and that's the way to be. We're bringing you all the best and worst sports news from around the sports world. Hopefully the rash of gas doesn't get really upset at us again. Oh. Last time Mike wasn't here, uh, it, was, it was like all hell broke loose. People joined the chat and were like, what the fuck, no Mike? And they left. I don't understand it. That's the only time girls have ever cared that Mike was missing from something. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Uh, but anyways, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the rash of gas, you should listen live with us on Mondays when we do the show. It's 7.30 p.m. on the West Coast, Mixler, M-I-X-L-R.com. Slash the cherry strike. It's a good time. But uh, let's break right into uh, ball talk. Air, less, 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 air, CT. Champs of AFC. It's all thanks to Diffnate Gate. If you know what I mean. Gronk is to the left of me. Left fell to the right. Ain't got to run the ball tonight. Cause the error takes time. With this PSI. To grip it tight uh. DSI Need the ball more light uh. DSI Deflate those balls Ball a check Six Super Bowls Alright, that's enough of that yeah. um, So bad news well, I don't know, this is weird news I should say Bad news, not, not the proper uh, thing I was looking for They're already off to a great start um, the Patriots are not going to appeal the punishment by the NFL. I find this weird because I don't know if you heard about this, but right before they came out and said, we're not, it's actually Robert Kraft. So we're not going to, we're not going to appeal the decision. Uh, it was being said that Robert Kraft was talking to Roger Goodell behind the scenes, you know, on the low, yeah, by on the low, I mean, of course he was sucking his cock. Yeah. But, uh, so they're having some private meetings and then all of a sudden he comes out and says, uh, nope. We're not going to appeal. We'll accept our punishment. What, what I think actually happened there was Robert Kraft is t- talking about this is a travesty. This is punishment. I will not stand for this. We will fight this to the very end. And then his assistant or whatever whispered in his ear and said, it's, it's a draft pick and a million dollars. Right. And he, oh, oh. Uh, you know what? I think we're going to accept the, the, uh, the punishment and just move on. Yeah. It's, it's really nothing for the <laughs> Patriots. It, yeah. Hey, hey, man! It's a really shitty draft pick. <laughs> They're gonna get the last pick, <laughs> right? We're not talking about the Lakers losing their draft pick here. No, we're talking about the Patriots, the Super Bowl winners losing a couple of draft picks. Yeah, it's gonna be some probably college kid that you know got paralyzed or something. Yeah, so. some gay college kid <laughs> who got paralyzed <laughs> had to move to Canada or whatever. Right, it'd just be one of those. Uh, we'll sign him for a day to make him feel good and give yeah. him a jersey thing. Yeah, get some yeah. publicity. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's really not a big deal. 
Uh, and the million dollars, of course, not a big deal at all for no, the Patriots. No, not, not that organization. Yeah, It's like, oh, we'll sell a couple more uh, Tom Brady jerseys. We'll be good to go. There it is. Uh, but um, the Players Association will be fighting this on Tom Brady's behalf because uh, I guess they have to do something. They, what else are they going to do? Right. they got to be doing something for whatever they're getting paid yeah. to do. So. Yeah. So They've got nothing better to do, basically. That's, I guess, what they're there for. Yeah. Now, they did ask Roger Goodell to uh, recuse himself from the proceedings because he's obviously heavily involved in this, and they wanted to use him as a witness, and uh, he said he won't. Big surprise. <laughs> right. I will not recuse. I, recu- I refuse to recuse. <laughs> exactly. Hashtag refuse to recuse. <laughs> Uh, not a bit, uh, blah, blah, blah. not a big surprise there. Nah. Um, I was looking for that. Oh man, I had to say um in the meantime. So get the switch, <laughs> whip you baby, whip those buns, whip you baby. Oops, I got your nuts. Whip you baby, wait. What's your name? Are you my kid? I'll whip you all the same. So, honey, about that doctor's visit. Honey, about that doctor's visit, I have herpes. <laughs> That's kind of what it sounds like it's heading to. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, Adrian Peterson is, uh, as we know, he's been reinstated by the courts, but uh, Goodell not uh, not doing what he's supposed to be doing. So the Players Union has asked federal court to hold Goodell in contempt. Uh, they asked federal court uh, the last week to hold him in contempt in the Adrian Peterson case. The NFL Players Association said Tuesday that Goodell and the league have, quote, deliberately ignored both the court's decision from 11 weeks ago and our repeated request to comply with that order. Uh, on February 26th, NFL was ordered to change its decision to suspend Peterson indefinitely after he injured his four-year-old son with a wooden switch last year in an attempt to apply discipline. He missed all but one game while on the commissioner's exempt list. Um, there, His attorney rep- repeatedly asked the league and arbitrator Harold Henderson to comply with the judge's Ruling as recently as last week, the attorneys warned the NFL it would be facing a contempt filing if it didn't comply. Uh, sources tell that uh, while the NFL appealed the ruling to the U.S. Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals, the league failed to ask the court to stay uh, the ruling during the appeal. So basically, uh, Goodell doesn't give a shit. He don't care. We are above the courts. Yeah. We'll do whatever the fuck we want to do. Now, here's what's interesting. In the CBA, like, you can't go to the courts for this kind of shit, and they did anyways. So I wonder if there's anything saying, like, well, even though you went to the courts, uh, we don't have to listen. You're, I'm still your boss. Uh, there might be. It seems, yeah, because they're not. it's supposed to be stay inside the family. Right. And they took it out into the courtroom. So We're good old boys. Yeah, that's right. We handle this by just going around back. Keep it in the family. And uh, hitting you with the hose. That's right. That's right. You grab your nuts. <laughs> Woo, hitting you with the switch, baby. <laughs> also, Peterson says he's going to miss the uh, OTAs for the Vikings this week, this upcoming week. Uh, that's his way of saying, I want to be traded, God damn it. Yeah, he don't want to play there. He don't want to play there no more. He wants to take his switch and ball and go home. Yeah, that's right. And the kids. Bring yeah. the kids. Yeah. Family uh, day. Yeah. Can you imagine family day at the Vikings training camp? Oh, man. <laughs> painful. <laughs> Very painful. Hide the sticks, everybody. <laughs> Hide the sticks. Yeah, uh, and your little balls too. I wonder how long they're going to let this. I mean, if the Vikings want to play hardball, I guess they can, and just say, "Okay, just sit there and you, you know do nothing all season." Right. We won't pay you, and you won't play. Yeah, It'd be interesting to see because I mean, there's teams that want him. I think the Vikings were smart. They trade him. I mean, here's the deal. Yes, it'd be nice to be a dick back to him and say like, "Oh, fuck you, just sit there." But yeah. if they trade him, they could get someone for him. Yeah, how's that going to help the team by doing that? You know, you by, being prove, a by being a dick and yeah. saying sit down. I mean, you know, prove a point, big deal, and lose another season. So. Yeah. I mean, I totally get wanting to be a dick, but yeah, it doesn't I, help I, the yeah, team. Yeah, I think in the long, when it all comes down, they'll probably trade him. Yeah, because I think you get still something pretty good for him. And the Cowboys, I mean, Cowboys keep popping up. They really want him. Jerry Jones, I mean, he's about to. He loves oh. felons. <laughs> yes, he does. It's Oakland South. Oh, man. Yeah. Welcome to South Oakland, <laughs> everybody. Um. Owners, speaking of Jerry Jones, owners have approved a uh, a new rule for uh, post touchdown scoring. Um, the new kicking rule will push the extra point kick back to the fifteen yard line, making it what like a twenty five yard field goal at that point. Something like that. Something like that ish. Uh, I like this. I think it's way too fucking easy. They experimented with this in the preseason <laughs> last year and found that it, I, I believe the numbers were it went from like ninety eight percent chip in to like uh, 87% or something like that. It dropped a pretty significant amount. 
just you know over a, a ten yard pushback. So yeah, it's so automatic. It's you know yeah. you need to do something when you have the likes of MVPs on your team kicking footballs. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's time to move back. I mean, yeah, I mean, the guys do it in their sleep. So yeah, Bill Dawson. Yeah, <laughs> MVP of the Niners. Yeah, uh, I, I'm all for it. I think it'll be great. The other change is that the play will be live, which means if the kick or the two point conversion uh, is blocked, the defense can return for two points. I like that too. I like that a lot. Yeah, uh, make it uh, mean something other yeah. than just a blocked kick or. Or pass. Yeah. Now, the kick, if it's returned, is it one or two? All I saw on the article was two points. Okay. Um, which led me to believe that both things would be for two points. Interesting. But uh, I don't know. I like it all around. I do, too. I Yeah, I think that's great. One or two points. Yeah. I'm okay. He's okay. <laughs> I think it'll be good. I think it's uh, a way to make that more exciting. And, I, and I'm so tired of just the easy chip-in extra point shots. It's like, why not just make the touchdown seven point? And then you can pass for an extra one. Well, you know, I had an idea on how to make it more exciting and speed up the game. And that it's not do the extra point, but the extra point comes during the kickoff. You kick off and try to make the extra point from there. Ooh, yeah. from like the 20-yard like the, line? No, the 40, man. Wherever the 40 they kick off from. Yeah. Yeah, they, those guys can, I mean, because it's Dawson so... Dawson can make it? They, they, the new rule where they, you know, move the kicker, the place to kick off up because they're afraid of concussions, mm-hmm. from guys running it back. So now, okay, kick a field goal from there. Kick an extra point from there. I'm down with that. Yeah. And I, then they, they can run it back if it doesn't make the, the extra point. Run it back. Saves time. You don't waste time kicking an extra point. You get right into the kickoff, and you're ready to go. I think during kickoffs, they should be allowed to hit full force with no helmets on. Oh, yeah. That would make the game. Damn helmets, take the pads off, everything. That would make it so much better. Yeah. I'm down with that. You have your special teams just wearing those leather helmets that they used to wear. They'd be called special teams because by that point, they'd <laughs> be very special. special. Hey, I'm play yeah. now. Kick the ball. <laughs> yeah, you try a lady. Oh, uh, so I can't wait for that. I think this will be a good addition to the uh, to the game. Uh, Giants Will Beatty out five to six months after tearing his pectoral muscle on a weight machine. Might want to back off those weights, big boy. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, not good news for the Giants, but uh, better news for the Canadians. It's raining. Good news, Canadians. Uh, oh, oh, Steph's back in the game. Breaking news to you guys listening live. Da-da-dun, da-da-dun, da-da-dun. Steph, Steph Curry news. is not the gay story we're going to talk about. He <laughs> left the game after a head injury. He's back in the game. Pulled a Paul Pierce. What a came man. Uh, anyways, the Montreal Alouettes. Alouettes. We like gay the, players on our <laughs> team. We like buckets, but the sex up. <laughs> uh, have signed up the CFL, of course. Have signed Michael Sam to a deal, and the coach is super excited for it. <laughs> when asked for comment, for comment, I need to drink more. When asked for comment, he said, "This is going to be fantastic. <laughs> team is going to be so much more fashionable." Everybody, stay tuned because he will soon come out to be the first Canadian football player <laughs> to be gay. Right. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm sure they'll have a press conference oh, for that. Time, yeah. And then when they uh, give him shit for it, you know, I just want equality. We'll stop yeah. having gay press conferences. Free hot dogs at the press conference. <laughs> Free footlongs, everybody. Hey, these things smell like shit. What's <laughs> <one>? <laughs> oh, sounds like shit and bleach. <laughs> uh, what else is happening? Oh, this is great. Jim Schwartz is Schwartz. the new NFL consultant on penalty. It's about time. Yeah, because uh, he was always in the top 10 most penalties when he was coach of the Lions. <laughs> so why not bring in the man who knows more hey, about penalties? That's right. Uh, this will be fun if my page would load. Here we go. In the five years that Schwartz was placed, uh, or was uh, placed on the D- Detroit Lions team as their head coach, he finished in the bottom ten in penalties three times. Uh, two of those three seasons, 2010-11, the team rung- ranked among the three most penalized teams in the league. One of the most memorable moments, of course, was when he cost the team a touchdown by throwing the challenge flag on a play that was automatically reviewable. After through the flag, officials were no longer able to review the score and play, which would have been a re- been reversed to the Lions' benefit. The Lions ended up losing uh, by three points on that game. Oh, good call. So, yeah, uh, why not bring in the guy who fucks up the penalties more than anybody else yeah, he knows. to advise you on how not to fuck up the penalties? <laughs> I think that's Don't it. do what I do. Right. What do you, that's what they're going to Hey, Jim, what would you do here? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I... Okay, everybody, backwards. You got it. Don't do that. It's fucking opposite day, everybody. Uh, we got a lot of justice to get into, so let's get right into it. It's a man of justice. 